What up? Yeah boy, Nero's he's right here. And today we're gonna play update 5. This update isn't that much different from update 6. Like the main difference is that point extraction isn't in. And all of the missions are unlocked. The mission at the far right has a huge 700 Morkite objective, which was a bit buggy, but besides that there's nothing else truly notable. It's not like there's some weird hidden developer room where you could easily farm some credits or anything, but like, as most of you probably know by now, I like to mention a few things before I get into the main point of the video. Like a lightning round? I don't know if the lightning round is warranted for this version, it does have that many different things. What put one in right here, if I'm wrong. Information channel appearance is even older. Barrel model is even older. And you can't kick them. More no collision objects in the space rig. Space rig window isn't transparent. There's some interesting cut biome features. Old cave jelly enemies. Also completely cut green one, two cut support drops, depositing into the mule is a bit different, mule has no button, so the drop pod is instantly called upon completion. Or should I say mining pod? Loot bugs have different sounds, and of course you can expect to see more throughout the video. And before we start the mission, I thought it would be fun to take a look at the old descriptions of the weapons. Like a sawed-off shotgun. Nothing. Do you like that? Or assault rifle. <laughs> a big rifle. With a flare. A bright flare. Okay. Really. A mighty pickaxe. Well, that's a powerful projectile launcher that shoots brightly shimmering flare. Grappling hook. An awesome grappling gun. HE grenade. Some armor. Basic shit. Let's check on driller. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Bright flare. A big pack of explosives. With a gunner. Nothing. Nothing. A pistol that shoots a zipline across the void. And engineer has nothing as well. Even not for the sentry. Why does scout get the special treatment? So the thing here is I'm gonna finally play scout. Well, I mean I haven't played gunner yet in my gameplays, but don't worry about that. Something worth noting is that I suck at soloing scout unless I'm spamming pheromones and trying to speedrun. Pheromones don't exist yet, and the grappling hook is pretty clunky to use. And that's exactly why I'm hoping to utilize the support drops more than I normally would. And uh... Yeah, well, let's pick our mission. Well, I do first dive, that's... Easy. Too easy. Yeah, you see that these missions... The old missions have like these descriptions telling... Like, what's the recommended player amount, but I bugged the description box. Somehow. Or maybe, yeah, I'll show off the old magma core, fuck it. Let's do Infested Chasms, I'll do Hazard 4, which is kinda like Hazard 3 to us, but since all the characters are, aren't are as fucking strong as they are right now, it will feel like Hazard 4, I think. Like, who sucks at Scout when you have a Pheromone Grenade? What? Are you jo- Yeah. The first attempt didn't go too well. As I revisit these old versions, I realize more and more that the developers have really tried making their game fair. Err. Uh, one biggest example is how explorers have distinctive sounds, so you have an actual chance to get away from it before they explode. Or how Iron Will is a safety net for some of the unfair devs you get. They make all these adjustments to even out the gameplay, and then they put stuff in like slow down on storms. Yeah, I don't know either. With that out of the way, after failing the mission I decided to farm up some credits from the dev room, upgrade scout and go at it again. For this video I'll actually be playing Black Hull Room. Sadly it's not old magma core, but the mission itself is a bit longer. Let's finally start the gameplay now. So there's that, but I'm not getting that. I'm not getting the gold. I don't have the fall damage resistance on. Also I think I turned off the music. From my farming. <laughs> my credit farming. So yeah, loot bugs used to give you way more gold. Way more of everything. And I think loot bugs at one point would have also dropped Markite. I can definitely understand why that's not a thing. Oh no... Oh, 
know, some people complain about the dirt, the way dirt is right now. I uh, would like you to play Update 5. Remember when I bought the game? <laughs> I get scared by that. That wasn't even scary. That was just stupid. Ah, yes. Re reload. Reload! Oh, we have a breeder back there then. Probably? Maybe? Yep. There's the electrical shoot. Just call it an electrical shoot. Can we have enough for... Yeah, we do have enough gold for both of the drops, actually. Might do both. Just get more here. Let's place a sentry here. Got it. Auto sentry inbound. <clears throat> There's another breeder back there. Remember when I tried to get the jellies to spawn for the Vicky screenshot, and they never spawn, now they always spawn. <laughs> the hell. Swarm incoming. Let's also get a floodlight up in here. Like, small rooms are truly where you should use floodlights, I think. But even small, but small rooms are like, can be easily lit up by the scout anyway. Luckily I don't really care about the credits. In this version. Uh, the sentry sucks at shooting it as well. It will always shoot the armor. They adjusted that way later on. Okay, we're at a hundred more right now. On the newer version, there's this. They decided to hide the, like the primary and secondary objectives from the team depository. Hello, Jadis. So Jadis in here is just a gold bonus, credit bonus. Just like getting a gold chunk. It's the exact same thing. Oh. oh! Are you fucking kidding me? The 50 shield saved me. Get 50 shield if you're gonna play these versions. I, I don't know how you'll get your hands on this in particular, but on update 6, yeah, 50 shield before you do anything, honestly. There's one interesting thing that's still kinda in the game, like these rock things. You can break them one by one. Oh, the low ceiling cave. These aren't really a thing anymore. Like, this is a just an entire cave with super low ceiling. These are interesting. These look cool, but I definitely understand why they didn't put, like, leave these in. I... Oh, come on. Not again. Oh, man. Do I hate dreadnoughts in older versions of this game? Especially if, when you're playing solo, at least. Because otherwise, it's just an easier dreadnought than what we have right now. Because here he just has double health. He has like the shell and his normal health. In the current one he can regenerate his shell and he has like much higher normal health. So it actually feels like a boss. Oh his shell's gone. Come on. No! I need that gold! Okay. Oh, look, bitter gem. Hello and goodbye. Damn, I also hate the old spit effect because it's even harder to see anything. But it seems like they used to deal less damage. Just they were just there to be annoying, basically. We're almost done. 
Okay, that's the last Morkai that I need to get. Okay, uh, I don't have enough gold to get both drops, so I'll just get this one. I'll place it right here. It'll serve as a nice little platform for the gold. No, no, not this again, not this again. Well, if it's the last cave, I might as well get the resupply. Let's go find the last bit of Morkite. We only need eight. That an exploder? That was an exploder. You saved my life. Auto sentry. Auto turret? Sentry gun. What's auto sentry? Auto. Oh. Oh no, you don't. Oh, you son of a bitch. Look at his health. That's ridiculous. Can't even call it the auto send. Now we can. Oh! I forgot! It doesn't give you the button when you complete the objective, it just instantly calls it. Oh, I can imagine how annoying that was. Okay, let's just get out then. I wanted to explore a little more to see more of the weird cave generations. I wanted to see if a gold gold room exists in this version. There used to be a gold room in the very old versions, like the first, but like before Morkite was added, the very last cave would have a ton of gold. No. Let's put one of these here. Oh, hello. Okay, jelly spike slinger. That's not you're not slinging spikes. It's like an electric shock. We're done. The monitor broke. Oh, hello. Let's see that again. There we go. 31 minutes, really? Felt like it was way shorter than that. After finishing my session here, I wanted to have a quick look at the Green Depth mission. To say the least, I was overwhelmed. Oh, sh shit. Did you see this? Oh my god. Um, I'm not clearing this. Oh shit. Oh. You know how when you get a giant cave now? On like 400 Morkite missions, it's like, oh, come on, this is 100 times worse. It's, it's, oh my god, it's still going. What the fuck? I'm not doing this. I would definitely need at least a second player for this. Oh, holy shit. Also, a classified video about the support drops should be coming up pretty soon. You'll probably see something on the screen now, if that video is already live. This kinda does feel like cheating, but I want to take a slightly closer look at the support drops and just generally have a separate video for them alone. See y'all on the next video. Be sure to check out the various versions of videos playlist if you're extra interested in this channel.